What's up guys, welcome to the channel, CB here in today's video I'll show the results from the midweek, my players almost all played, um, I had some surprise in the lineup, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I'll show that to you guys, and of course the lineups of the weekend, uh, like and subscribe, I'll really appreciate it if you guys just hit the thumbs up button, without further ado, let's get into the video, first results of the midweek, and as you see, yeah, it's a bit of a surprising midweek, well I guess you see some high scores, and if you think, yeah, you're playing all-star, these high scores, these are not high scores, but all these scores are from cap to 40. Uh, the Shana was stacked work though, as I said, bot patron uh, for this game. We kept clean sheet with some all-around, Van Klimpet, 80 all-around, uh, lovely. Um, Schrever scored against Genk, of course, yeah, seeing Genk lose is not nice. But the goal from Schrever uh, makes it a bit better. And then um, Keita was doing okay, got the early yellow card, but all around wise he was doing pretty well as you see, 24 all around. So that means without a red card he was almost on 60, uh, but yeah, took a second yellow, also suspended for the weekend. But it's against Bridges, they play in the weekend, so not really, yeah, I was not gonna use him this weekend. Now comes this evening, has to clutch against the Trude. Uh I think we certainly have a card uh, for 3.30 in the midweek. But if he gets a decisive or just hits his average of 60 score, I'm projected 113 and it's a lovely tier 3. If he performed better than his L15 which is higher than 60, I could maybe get a tier 2. If he scores 100, maybe higher, but we'll have to see about that this evening. If you just see the results and you know how it comes it, you know what the outcome of this lineup is. And of course the threshold is already in. Uh, kept to 20, Schaefer's in the pilot, great. Uh, yeah. Koppens, uh, life is uh, also skills average. Koppens uh, still has to play, but I don't really expect him to keep a clean sheet. Even though the hand side is really weak, uh, but yeah, don't see him keeping a clean sheet. And I'll start, yeah, Wallace and Friday evening. I, I wasn't even watching the game. Uh, 10 minutes in, they were all already 2 0 down. Consider the third one quick. Kenzie, yeah, after the clean sheet went away, scores dramatically. A class subbed off at half time. Uh, oh no, after 60 minutes. Bains was subbed off at half time and Koita is on the bench, so this lineup is in the bin and the rest was Academy. Uh, so busy midweek, but let's now go over to the weekend. As you guys know, I'm building into Asia and as you see, with the quality I have now, I sold a lot of good players. I'm not gonna play All Star Challenger. If all my players have a good matchup, I certainly can, but they don't, and then I'm just gonna play into the cap modes, which I'm doing the whole season already kept to 40 just get a threshold in because i think people underestimate how what the worth of a threshold is if it's limited if it's rare i don't care if it's super rare it's always a cash flow and i think it's a must play even though you play also all-star it can go worse but if you in my opinion if you have good strategy kept to 40 should be nine out of the ten times uh that you hit a threshold you can always be unlucky but if you scout well and if you just have the right players uh, who can perform in certain fixtures, I think it's always, it's just, yeah, you always hit a threshold. Uh, in goal, I went for the same stack. The L15 is not updated yet, which is pretty nice. Uh, so they both have a low L15. Uh, Patron and Van Klimput. Into the midfield, then. Someone I don't really use, but last week he's performing. Uh, I bought him in the summer because he was uh, rumored to go to Union. Didn't happen, and now I'm a bit stuck with it. Beginning of the season was a sub performed not that well, and now yeah, but a decent all round uh, bottom. And then if he can combine it with a decisive, that's a really nice score. Uh, Place the home gets fallen down, really nice fixture. In the attack, I went for the Benza. Why not the full stack? Kortek is looking better last week, but I think Shawa uh, won against Uppe. Maybe have some confidence and can do something. And then as extra player, I went for the midfielder card of Steve Schrevers. Where is my brother? Here it is. Uh, with a nice bonus, all above the 5% bonus. My captain will be Busaid. So it's a bit everything or nothing with him. So yeah, I think it's a lineup to hit the threshold. It is dependable on. Is it a word dependable? Uh, we, it will depend on how Charlois will perform, but I think they will perform well. And then, of course, the gang boys, where do I put them? Because I play in your and I think they can do well because they always do well in your. They're the only team to. Uh, beat Union uh, at their home stadium this season, uh, so I think at home they can they can surprise. Uh, Wallace as a goalkeeper with eight percentage and then just a gang stack. Um, Kayembe is still on national duty. Uh, Arteaga left, Munoz left, so it's yeah a bit less. Heine here, 
Bane still then in the attack who I bought. As you saw in the lineup here, uh, I had first had Mbenza, but he was uh, like an hour before the deadline. It was announced that he was injured, so I had to swap uh, and I bought Bane still. Um, now uh, I will use him in this lineup and as extra player, I did go for Rosowski. Uh, he's not that good of an alpha, uh, as a SO5 wise player, but yeah, with that bonus and just the whole gang saga, it's just uh, easier to play with. Bane will be my captain because if he gets a decisive, we're chilling. Why not in Challenger Europe or in All Star? Because with the captain bonus of the 50%, I like to play everything or nothing with Bane And of course, my nice bonuses uh, as the other card with the collection bonus and just XP I build up. Uh, then let's move on to All Star. Uh, just the rest of the players I put in All Star. Uh, whereas the lineup here, I don't expect any from anything from this. Coppens against Incircle, a difficult matchup. Starfeld in Osasuna, a difficult matchup. Uh, comes in on the way, difficult matchup. Schrevers, uh, forward guard uh, against Westerlof. I have to see what you can do. Koita in Circle, and he will also be my captain. So if Arneson does keep a clean sheet, it's really likely this lineup can maybe do something because Koita will likely then get a decisive against Wadelson. And then last team is kept to 20 for the monthly, of course. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have good. Um, Good things about this. In goal, I went for where is? God, I'm blind. Uh, Leno in Burnley should keep a clean sheet in my opinion. Then as defender, let's uh, turn this off. I went for Popovic. Yeah, he's not good as a five fives, but yeah, at the low F15, I really need to use him. And then we can spend a bit more on a class in Norwich. It's difficult, but with a bonus, I think he can do something. Uh, we only have Mila in the attack, and then Castro is extra player. Uh, Castro a bit in the bench, uh, out of the bench, but his scores in home games are still pretty decent, so that's why I use him. And my captain will be a class, of course, in this thing. Let's unlist Popovic. So uh, these are the lineups. Let's see them here. I think uh, threshold should be easy. And I'm sure what do well. Maybe like this midweek, a card reward. Cap to 70 is just if can get a crazy game like they did against Antwerp at home. Surprise everyone and won 3-0 with nice scores. Uh, this maybe can also get a reward. I'll start just for the coins, for the XP, kept to 20. I don't know what to expect from that. Guys, if you're interested in starting playing Sora, I recommend signing up with the link in the description because then if you go to market, to auctions and you win five cards in auction, you get a 20 euros free credit you can use on the auction market. You have to use it in the next seven days. Uh, so you have to do it a bit quick. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments so you can always DM me on Twitter or Discord. Uh, names and links are in the description. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope your game week midweek went well, goes well. And I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video where I'll show the results. Bye.